on the salt resistant plants like these, they produce a fruit round on the plant. You see the sargassum with these round things, but they're not fruit. They're gas bladders that helps them keep them float, keep them to float. These on the other hand are the part of the plant that contains the seed. They're the fruit. Round on a salt resistant plant, round on a salt resistant plant, two very different functions. You know what this is? It's a type of green algae. It's called sea lettuce. Oba. So I was down at the ocean this morning and I was snorkeling and I picked up some sargassum seaweed. Of course, macroalgae, we talked about it when we were at the beach and I'm gonna show you now how to paint it. I've got two pieces here and I wanna go through the parts again before we start painting it. This piece here, which looks like the stem is actually called the stipe. We're gonna be putting that in first. And all of these branchy leaf looking things are called blades and I'm gonna show you the skills on how to paint those with one stroke. The sargassum is held up floating by these gas bladders and we're gonna be putting those in as well. I want you to notice the color. We have yellows, we have orange, a little brown. As the sargassum dries out, it gets a little browner. So we're gonna use about four different colors as we do this. All right, so I'm gonna put this on my plate and we're gonna get started. All right, so we've got our nice sheet of white paper. We have our piece of sargassum seaweed, our number five round brush, our palette and our water. So I'm gonna get my brush wet. I'm gonna get a little bit of this yellow ochre here and I'm gonna put in the stipe. And you just kind of let it free throw. Then we have a little bit of these branches that come off, just use the tip of the brush and that's where our blades and our air bladders are going to be attached. I'm gonna get a little bit more of this ochre and put a little bit of this rust color on it. Now coming off of here, watch the technique. I push down, wiggle, 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 lift. Over here, push down, wiggle, 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 lift. I'm gonna get a little more of the ochre color because we're gonna do a combination of many colors in the brown family, it is brown algae. Push down, wiggle, 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 lift, and wiggle, 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 lift. Let's get a little brown and go ahead and do those air bladders. We make the letter C, we attach it, we fill it in and leave just a little bit of white. Again, make a little bit extension, make the letter C, fill it in, a little bit of white. So I'm getting a little more water, I'm gonna get a little bit of brown, a little bit of that ochre. And I make the letter C, I fill it in, get a little bit of white. There's another one right here. Those are the air bladders that allow it to float. A little more of the rust color and push down, wiggle, 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 lift. And wiggle, 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 lift. And you can continue adding the air bladders and the blades onto your painting. And when you're done, your painting will look like this. Our sargassum seaweed brown algae.